Hey guys, Vince here back with another video and what I'm going to be discussing is the best CSGO sensitivity and this is going to be for you. What I'm going to go into are pretty much like the main things that go into your CSGO sensitivity because it's not just number that pops up in the little options bar, keyboard, mouse, or whatever, but your window sensitivity goes into it, you have a DPI, you have a thing called an EDPI, and I'm going to go into all of that, then I'm going to talk about what the pros use, other things that are just going to help you figure out the perfect DPI for you. Now, the first thing that's going to affect your sensitivity is your Windows sensitivity. Now, I know people do play on Apple devices such as like a Mac. It's going to be different. You can just follow along and kind of figure your way through. This is probably going to be the only part where you're going to need to look it up something different and see how to go to your sensitivity like in your computer. But for Windows, this is how you do it. On the screen, you're going to first go to your control panel. Everybody knows how to do that. Go to your mouse, and then you're going to go to your pointer speed, the tab that's going to say pointer speed. Do not go to the pointer click. Um, people can make that mistake easily just because they do look alike. But go to your pointer speed, and if I was you, I would set it at 6, just because that's standard. I wouldn't try to mess with that. Like I know you want to have it fast, but this really is not going to matter at the end. But if you do not have it at 6, it's pretty much going to throw off everything I'm going to say in the video. So. So I would just say set it at six. It's not gonna really, it's not gonna mess with anything at all. Pretty simple window sensitivity. It's not even gonna be for your computer because you're gonna change that up with your DPI. Now, quick definition for DPI: dots per inch. We don't need to go into too much of that because there's a lot of definitions because they use it for computers, they use it for pictures, printers, a bunch of other things. So there's many different definitions to calculate your DPI. Every mouse is not gonna have the same DPI, but what if I was to you? I would go, if you have a standard mouse, um, not a gaming mouse, I would go and see what your DPI is, because usually there's a set DPI, but if you do have a gaming mouse, then there's different ways you can configure your DPI. Usually the systems have, like Logitech, they have their own little application that you can download to change your DPI, because my mouse can go up to 12,000. Then there's just different ways you can configure it there on. With your DPI, what I would do is make that for how you feel when you're out of game. So if you like moving around, like just kind of make it for how you feel out of game. So if you're clicking on browsers and stuff, now this is only going to be for your window just because the in-game sensitivity is obviously going to change that value too. And that's what's going to help influence your EDPI. An EDPI is pretty much a multiple of your DPI and your in-game sensitivity. So on the screen I have an example, if you want to get to like a 1000 EDPI, you could use 1000 DPI and then use a one game in sensitivity, so you're going to get 1000 EDPI, I guess again, you could use a 500 DPI, then go to a 2 in game sensitivity, so let's say I use like a 12000 DPI and I use a 1 in game sensitivity, then that's going to make my DPI 12,000, obviously. But if I use like a 12,000 and then a 0.1 sensitivity, that's going to make my EDPI 1,000. So it's going to change it. So what the value that you want to try to calculate, um, it's going to be your EDPI. Now I'm, now I'm going to throw up a little spreadsheet. It's going to be in the link in the description below on what the pros use for their EDPI. Now, I know this is going to kind of shock a lot of people. Um, a lot of people like me before I, I kind of went into this and before I made this video, obviously. I used to run like a high DPI. I used to run maybe like a 2400 DPI and then I used to use like a 1.25 in game sensitivity. So it's nothing too high. I know a lot of people use something higher than that. But here's a couple spreadsheets on the screen right now of what the pros use. You can kind of see the column that says EDPI. It kind of shows what their DPI is, their window sensitivity, and so forth. But the magical number that you're going to kind of want to get at the end is going to be that EDPI. Now, this spreadsheet does get updated every couple months, so, so you might see a player that's not on a certain team right now. You can be like, hey, he's not on there, but these are still the same settings that they use. The pros don't go around changing their settings like all the time. Some players change their res a little bit, but your resolution doesn't matter at all on what you use. I use a 1280 by 720 now. I used to use 980 by 1080, I think it was. Um, but I don't know. I just kind of toned it down a little bit just because it's, I don't know. I feel like it wasn't necessary. And plus, I gained like double the amount of frames that I got on 1980 by 1080. But um, that's kind of whatever. It doesn't really matter. But again, the top pros, as you can see, like um, Asmo, you can have Fox from Phase, you have Hiko, Forest. Their DEDPIs range from 2300 to Hiko's is 1520. Now, 
if I was you, I wouldn't really mess with the top 10, what the top 10 do use, because you can see the numbers are falling drastically. You can use a high EDPI as your choice or whatever. But then I'm going to skip down a little bit to different pros like Olaf. People consider him the best in the game. His EDPI is only at 765. Then you can go down to people like Bialy. His EDPI is only at 720. Now these are really low EDPIs. I know people are going to kind of get frustrated like, hey, how do they even do that? How do they even do that? This is way too slow for me now pros you can see i'm gonna put a little video up on the screen they use their whole like arm when they're moving their mouse they're not just moving their wrist like i know some people might have their arm like stationary and then just move their wrist or whatever but what you want to do is move your whole arm when you're playing just because it's gonna obviously it's easier to get arm motions down than get to wrist motions because those are going to be smaller and with your arm you have more room for mistakes when i'm calculating my edpi i obviously was looking at what the pros were using too just to kind of configure it but also it's more of a feel if you feel that you can use this dpi then go use it it's not something that the pros use it you use it what i mean uh, by all of this obviously the way you move on the screen it's going to be higher if you have a higher DPI versus then if you have a lower, it's easier to control, easier to have your arm movements when you're moving like left to right with an arm than if you're moving with your wrist. Now, what I'm going to show you all on the screen is going to be something that's going to be kind of controversial. A little graph of the ranks in this game, obviously competitive from Silver 1 all the way to Global and their average DPI. Now, as you can clearly see, an average for like a Silver 1 is going to be over 3,000 just because um, quick movements, obviously, if you're new to the game, that means you're probably going to be a Silver 1. You have to get better. But you're going to probably think, okay, you know what, quicker mouse, uh, that's something that you want to have. Slowly and slowly, as you get to LE, they start stopping around like the 1,000 area. And then if you go back to the little list that I showed y'all about the certain D um, EDPIs that the pros use, you can kind of see this kind of makes sense. As you can see by the guy I showed you, the average pro is probably going to use a DPI that's around either 1150, which is 1150 EDPI, to around a 700 as you get um, further and further down. After I gave you all of this information, you can go out and kind of see what EDPI you're going to get. But if I was you, I'd kind of mess around with EDPI, play a couple games with it, and I guarantee you'll see improvement. But um, that's pretty much it with this video. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching the video. Feedback is needed, and I hope you enjoyed.